Hi, it's Dr. Pelosi. I am here with our latest fellow, Dr. Latsa Steckman. Dr. Steckman, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what kind of a doctor are you? I am a board certified uh, surgeon, trained in general surgery. I'm also trained in cardiothoracic surgery. I also took the board of aesthetic medicine. I do a lot of emergency room work, critical care, and I have a master in business administration and master in public health. And what attracted you to aesthetic surgery? You know, I always, I always like cosmetic, and even in, in general surgery, I had applied for plastic, but I didn't match. I always like cosmetic, and I've trained in plastic in France, in Israel, and in Haiti, in the U.S. as well. Now, you started your training where? Um, in general surgery, or in medicine? In medicine, I was, um, I went to medical school in Haiti. And I also completed a training in general surgery, and I came to the U.S. in 2000, and I completed another training in general surgery to become post certified, and I did two years of cardiothoracic, and yes, mainly that's what it is. What attracted you to medicine in the first place? You know, I, I never thought about it because in Haiti, you don't have many options for professional channels. And to the best I remember, I always liked medicine, I always liked surgery. And what was it uh, that prompted you to go into uh, general surgery out of all of the specialties? Because I like surgery. I like mm -hmm. surgery and general surgery, that's the first step, you know, to, if you want to go into to a specialty. Now, were there people in your family that were uh, in, in the medical field? When no, you were I'm the first physician up? in my family. My mom was a teacher. I was raised by her, and uh, she was a teacher. Now, when you came over here, um, you had to redo your entire residency? Absolutely. And that was uh, where? What hospital? I trained in Harlem, which was affiliated to Columbia. I completed it in six years because I did one year of research and injury prevention for the elderly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, you, you started a cosmetic surgery practice before we met you, so how did that start? When did that start? Uh, as I mentioned to you, I always like cosmetics, so this is something that I had in my heart for the longest time. So mm -hmm. I started taking the courses with the American Academy of Aesthetic mm -hmm. Medicine. They are you know, level one, level two, they are diploma in their board, and that's, uh, that's how I started. So uh, from, from then until now, um, what, what prompted you to seek additional training? You know, I started doing, I do pretty much everything, but m the most of my training, they were all in the waiting room under general anesthesia. So I completed the tr a training with Dr. Klein for, you know, to know how to use the chimesin. And I got a lot of patients who were interested in um, BBL. Fat cancer, and I had no formal training that was for me that that I was happy with. So that's when I I spoke to one of the rep about that, and they told me that you guys had some training in um, in fat transfer. That's how I I get so, to that. So you found because us. I've done only once in one fat transfer doing my one or two baby in plastic and never convincing. We always felt that it wouldn't take and also and there are so many patients who ask for it that I felt I, I like to to be trained for what I do. So So now you completed the two weeks with us. So what what do you think of your experience? Um it was it was well spent. And it was worth it. And uh, I found that there was a lot of experience that you guys have, you and your dad, that I was able to tap into without the casualties that you have for accumulating such an experience. So for me, it was really, it was positive and it was worth it. Now, do you think it's organized, systematic? It's something you can take back and follow a set plan? Or do you think it's more an improvisational kind of an atmosphere? Do you think you have no, a steady, um, clear plan in your head? Oh, absolutely. Because uh, probably, you know, I don't know who, who are your other uh, fellow because I was already doing some of this, but definitely 
there's a lot that I've learned, a lot of trick, you know, there's a lot of room for, you know, improving and definitely I plan to apply what I've learned with you guys. Fantastic. So what was your favorite procedure of, of all the ones that you've uh, been exposed to in, in this rotation? My favorite ones was the nail umbilicus where I was fighting with your father about starting at 2 o'clock versus 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> or 4 o'clock versus 8 o'clock. <laughs> right, right. It reminds me of some aortic valve replacement because you have to put the string in this right place and you can miss them. Fantastic. <laughs> well, Dr. Steckman, it's been a pleasure to have you here. And like I know, us. I know you're going to be back for us. Absolutely. Because you're part of our family now. Absolutely. Thank you very much. My, My pleasure. pleasure. Likewise. <laughs>